So welcome to USML team. Today's topic is tropical sprue. Very briefly, I will discuss about this uh, tropical sprue. In earlier video, I described about uh, celiac sprue. That's very important than this. Uh, there are few points from which you can differentiate tropical sprue from uh, uh, celiac sprue, right? Or celiac disease. Uh, let's start with this. Okay, it can be acute or a chronic diarrhea, so weight loss and malabsorption. So it's a malabsorption, malabsorption syndrome, so you have the features of a malabsorption. Um, acute intestinal infection leads to duodenal, so it's a kind of infection too. Uh, mucosa, so the bacterial overgrowth increases plasma enteroglucagon, results in retardation of small intestinal transit. Central to this process is a folate deficiency, which probably contributes to further mucosal injury. Remember about this, this can be infectious also. This is infectious. Uh, it may develop in the natives of the travelers to the tropics, like a tropical countries like, um, uh, for example, Brazil, uh, some part of uh, India, um, Middle East, lower part of the Middle East, then um, South African countries like. Um, uh, Nigeria, uh, like this, this country, right? It comes in the belt, not USA, Canada, or Europe, Russia, China. They doesn't come under tropics. Remember this. If they give the history, the patient comes from a tropical country like the Brazil, like this. What I mentioned before, then think of a tropical sprue with the, because this history is very important to diagnose. Okay, the symptoms are diarrhea, weight loss, like swelling, fatigue, and fever. Megaloblastic anemia is associated with the reduced folate and a vitamin B12 deficiency. Remember, if the celiac disease is severe, then you have B12 deficiency. Otherwise, B12 deficiency will not be seen. Subtotal villus atrophy. Remember, this is very important. Geogenal biopsy, what does it show? It shows a mild villus atrophy, increased villus creeps, mononuclear cellular infiltrate, enlarged epithelial cells, and large nuclei caused by folate or a vitamin B12 deficiency. Characteristic accumulation of lipid beneath the basement membrane is very important. Same thing you can see in the celiac screw, but the lipid beneath the basement membrane is very important. How do you treat it? Treat with a deficiency like folic acid, vitamin B12, and antibiotics. Antibiotics are very important. Okay, so this is briefly I'm discussing about the tropical screw. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please do subscribe, rate in the comment and please if you have any questions please let me know. I will try my level best to answer you. Thank you, thank you so much.